Hey YouTube, Atheist Vape is checking in. Today, we're going to be talking about the Enigma RDA. Ooh, the Eye of Ra gets angry. Yeah, this is actually a pretty cool looking RDA. I'm digging the little, uh, you know, Eye of Ra here. I think it fits nice with the brass. I like the look with the stainless nemesis. You know, I'm kind of wishing I had gone with the mixed brass and uh, stainless now, because I think that would look real, real sexy together. I'm, uh, I'm digging this piece, people. Um, you know, uh, I had to add the drip tip, didn't come with it. Uh, this is one I ordered off Fast Tech, so it's not an original, it's a clone. Um, I think it cost me like six or eight bucks. I think the originals are going for about 50. Um, and the big difference between this one and the original is the center post in the original is 24 karat gold whereas the center post in this one is brass now some of you know there are some issues concerned with brass in that there could be lead uh, leaching um, and so there's a very real possibility that uh, you could potentially uh, you know be getting lead mixed in with your vape so that's really something to keep in mind and something I did not know before I ordered this and again since I got it from Fast Tech this was roughly a month ago that I ordered it, and since then, uh, my friend from Twitter, uh, Ben, taught me that, you know, brass is a pretty dirty metal, um, so I know it looks really nice on mods, but as far as, you know, things that are going to come in contact with your juice and that you're going to inhale, you might want to think of an alternative. Um, you know, I'm not sure if it's a big deal when it's on the outer casing, because, I mean, it's still coming in contact with the juice. Um, I'll show you on the inside. It's not like it's got stainless. It is all brass in there. And, uh, yeah. So something to keep in mind. Um, you know, I'm not as super concerned uh, in the long run just because I don't feel like I'm going to be vaping on this thing all day. Uh, I know no amount of lead is good. Um, but, you know, it's a risk I'm willing to take at this point And uh, just something to keep in mind. I think in the future, I wouldn't order a brass uh, RDA. I would probably you know, get any type of brass, uh, you know, tube or mod, I would get a brass sleeve for the RDA, but if it's going to come in contact with my e-juice or my vapor, I'm probably going to avoid brass in the future, so uh, I'll probably be giving this one away in a contest, you know, and I'll let the person decide if they're okay with that, because there are definitely, you know, uh, many, many brass RDAs out there, so obviously not everybody is concerned, uh, I'm just a little more paranoid than most. But I am still vaping on it. So uh, anyway, <clears throat> I've got a dual coil build in here. It's coming in at 0.6. Um, I've, again, I've got it on the Stainless Nemesis, uh, which I'm going to be giving away May 24th. A brand new one, not this one. Um, and yeah, you know, I, I, again, I think it looks really nice with this setup. Um, <clears throat> it's got really, really small air holes, but it does have two air holes. So, you know, it's set up to do a dual coil build. Um, I think I'm going to probably drill these out and make them a little bigger. I think I like my air holes not quite 3 millimeters, but you know, maybe around 2.5 to 2.8. I think that seems to be a little better. And you know, originally I ordered my Spirit Dripper. I didn't know what was a good air hole size because that was my very first dripper. Um, and so I just went with their standard air holes, which is roughly about the same size as this. And at the time that seemed sufficient, but I have noticed with a bigger air hole you do get bigger vapor production. Um, I don't like it so big that it feels like I'm taking in a breath of air. I want to feel that hit, but uh, you know these are just a little too small. So something to keep in mind as well. If you order this from Fast Tech, chances are you're going to want to drill it out. Um, let's see. I am rocking some Aphrodisiac from Carpe Diem Vapor. You can pick this up at CarpeDiemVapor.com. This is some really really delicious stuff. See, I'm rocking it at the 6 milligram nicotine strength. Look at this cute little bottle they sent me. Oh, Yeah, I'm really, really digging this company. And there's all kinds of cool stuff going on. So, you know, keep, keep in touch with these guys. Find them on Facebook. Check out their website. Um, yeah, really good stuff coming from them. So anyway, let's fire this thing up and see how it vapes. Wow, no complaints with vapor production. I mean, I'm getting nice hits. Again, I, I, I'm digging the look of this thing. 
you know, I wouldn't say it's my favorite looking RDA. I think there are definitely cooler ones out there. But I wanted a brass RDA. I wanted something a little different. And, you know, I kind of like these little graphics and stuff. So, you know, maybe they're a little cheesy, but I don't know. I've always kind of liked the Eye of Raw. I think it looks cool. So, I don't know. Doesn't that just look kind of neat? I don't know. Sexy to me. So, it's firing up great. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm digging it, people. I, uh, I think if you're not opposed to brass, you know, I would check it out. And, and there are obviously other uh, blends of metals with the Enigma RDA. It's a, a pretty uh, uh, popular RDA, and there's a lot of them available. <clears throat> and again, I got this one from Fast Tech, so I just wanted to go cheap just so I could get another review out there. Um, and that's about where my budget's at right now in the, in the Fast Tech range. Um, let's see, what else? Again, uh, it is brass. The middle post on the original would have been uh, 24 karat gold, which it's brass in here, and then the other two posts are uh, stainless steel for your dual coil build. So the middle one here, and I'll show you all this when we get up close, um, is, is not uh, 24 karat gold, it is brass. So something to keep in mind for sure um, when I first got it the gaskets were really insanely tough I mean that was hard to torque off there so I actually removed one of the gaskets and I had to do the same thing with the spirit tripper you know I kind of greased it up with some juice so again just a couple things to keep in mind uh, if you're gonna pick this thing up um, yeah I don't really know what else to say uh, until we get up close and personal with this thing um, I suppose I could give you a couple of the specs uh, it's a 22 millimeter RDA, so it fits really, really seamless on the Nemesis. Um, you know, it's a 510 connection, um, which is also <clears throat> brass. Let me just get this thing off of here, show you. And I guess I'm going to show you all this up close anyway, but eh, why not? Yeah, it is a non adjustable uh, 510. I want to show you. Well, I'll show you that when we get up close and personal. Uh, these clones are getting ridiculous, people. <laughs> they are really. I call them counterfeits at this point. It's hard to just call it a clone. <laughs> it's uh, it's basically a counterfeit. But uh, yeah, I'm digging it. Um, let's see what else. What else? Oh yeah, it's coming in at uh, 33 grams. So for those of you who are worried about uh, you know a heavy, a heavy RDA, this is definitely not it. Um, yeah, let's fire it up a little more, see how she vapes, and then we'll get up close and personal with this thing. I am loving that aphrodisiac. Wow, that's good. Yeah, it's vaping great, people. I think all we got to do now is get up close and personal with this thing. We'll be right back. Here is our <clears throat> up close and personal shot of the Enigma RDA. So, here, as you can see, we've got our Eye of Ra, our nice little brass shield here. You know, I, I dig the way it looks. I think these air holes could be a little bigger. And again, it's not the coolest RDA I've come across. There's definitely some some nicer looking ones out there, but uh, I don't know. It kind of has the uh, like a pyramid feel to it. I don't know, kind of looks like something that would be hanging on the neck of an Egyptian or something. So, uh, but, uh, you know, some of the, the perks in this, there's a lot of room in here, so you're not contending with the walls. You got plenty of space to build. Um, you know, you can fit a lot of cotton in there. It's got pretty, pretty nice uh, juice well here. So, I mean, there's some, there's definitely some perks about this thing. I'm going to pull this wick out of here real quick, like. I know it's just brand new in there. Just kind of show you what's going on inside this bad boy. Okay. So now we've got our dual coil build rocking in there. And as you can see, they did a real, real good job of trying to make that middle one look uh, gold plated. And, you know, for all I know, it could be, but it is fast tech, and I'm highly, highly doubting that is gold plating. I'm almost willing to bet that that is brass. So. Uh, the rest is stainless, so the screws and all that are stainless steel. Again, I used a 28 gauge Canthal. Uh, I did eight wraps, and they came in at 0.6. So a little dual microcoil sub ohm build there. We got our uh, brass 510 connection, and this is what I was talking about. Look at that, made in USA. <laughs> 
At what point do we stop calling it a clone and start calling it a goddamn counterfeit? Uh, I think when they start saying made in USA and it's coming out of China is a pretty good time to start calling it a counterfeit. But I'm okay with that because uh, I'm poor and I feel like my channel caters to those of us that don't have the budget for the two to three hundred dollar mods. So uh, I do my best to review products that not only I can afford, but hopefully you can afford as well, especially if you're on a budget. But yeah, you know, just your standard RDA. Um, nothing too extreme about this. One of the issues I did have, <clears throat> I think it was this post here. If I can get this thing to zoom, there we go. This post here was turning when I was tightening the screw. So I had to come in here and hold it with some pliers and then tighten the coil down. And at first I thought, oh, I'll just build the coil up top. I'll just, you know, tighten them down the screw. Nope, it still ended up turning the whole thing and destroying my uh, my coil. So, you know, it is from Fastec. I did pay like less than $10. I think it was between 6 and 8 So, you know, you do get what you pay for. But I'll tell you what, I've seen more expensive clones that have had the same issue. So, are you going to zoom? There we go. So, you know, I can't complain too much. Like I said, I was able to build it pretty darn easy, minus the whole having to pull out the pliers to hold that straight. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I mean, it's got, like I said, a nice, nice juice well. All the machining is actually really nice in this thing. There's no, like, <clears throat> crazy shavings or bad cuts or anything. It came pretty darn clean. Um, it did not come in a box. It came uh, just in a little bag, and it came with some extra gaskets and some pre-made uh, wicks and coils. Uh, and I can't remember where I put that stuff, so... I generally, uh, I generally stash them all in one big bag, and then I can just pull stuff out if I need it. So yeah, that is our up close and personal shot with the Enigma RDA. Uh, I think I'm going to do a little pause break here, and for the first time, I'm going to build a micro coil on film for you all. So uh, for those of you who uh, already know how to do that, you can just go ahead and skip forward to the end. Otherwise, stick around. Just take a minute, and I'll show you. Uh, the poor man's way to wrap a coil. That set up, take a pause break here. All right, now let's uh, show you all how to build <clears throat> a micro coil real quick. My hands are kind of uh, covered in e juice at the moment. Let's get that cleaned up. Um, essentially, I would normally use a 332nd drill bit, um, sometimes a 16th, uh, but I accidentally lost it and I have no idea where it's at at the moment. So, I'm just going to use the little screwdriver that came with my uh, K-Fun light clone. I know a lot of you have got these out there. You know, I don't know what size this is, but it's been working really nice for me as a replacement uh, until <laughs> I stop being lazy and go down to the hardware store and just buy the drill bits I need. I tried ordering them from Amazon, and every time I ordered a 3 seconds, they sent me a 1 8 inch. And I shipped it back and ordered it again, and they sent me a 1 8 inch. 1 8 <laughs> one eighth inch. Sorry. <laughs> I think I'm having a little problems with talking right now. So anyway, uh, you know, I cut a good little chunk out. Uh, you know, I don't know about how long that is. Eight inches or so. Something like that. Eight or nine inches. Um, you know, you could obviously use less if you want. I just like to have a little more to work with. So what I do is I just kind of pinch, pinch the handle together here. Let's see if we can get that to focus. Maybe. All right. Get a nice little grip, and then I don't count the first turn because I'm gonna, uh, you know, I'm gonna unravel it a little bit. So now I start counting. Oh, my hands are so covered in e juice. Sorry about this. So we go once around, twice around, three times around, four times around. Five times around, six, seven, and eight. And normally that would look a little better because I'm not trying to get it on film. Uh, took a little chunk out of my finger with the wire there. Uh, and then I just kind of unravel this part. Just get these straightened out here. I just kind of smoosh it all together. And again, I'm no expert with building micro coils. Um, and they look bigger when you first start out like this. See how big that looks? 
And actually, that is kind of big. I mean, normally I get it a little tighter than that when I'm first wrapping it. But the great thing about Canthal is it's very, very malleable. And so basically what you would do is um, if you have a torch, you can go ahead and do this step first. Um, and I've actually got one coming in the mail from uh, my friend Fallen Angel on Twitter. Thank you very much. You can follow her. It's uh, on Twitter at Fetish Phone. So please do that. But anyway, so if you've got a torch, what you can do is you just press the coil together and heat it with the torch. And that'll kind of start to form it. But what I've got to do right now is I basically will stick it in the RDA. Boom, like so. And I'll pulse it. So... Uh, you know, I'll get it glowing red hot and then I'll go in and I'll squeeze it together. And I do that maybe once or twice for each side. And, uh, then I get my nice tight, uh, coil builds like, like such. So these coils started out looking like this and that, come on, focus for me, please. So if that gives you an idea of how much tighter it will get once you get heat to it and give it a little pulse and give it a little squeeze, it'll become a nice tight coil. So basically that's it folks. Um, you know, I don't do anything crazy. If you want to get, uh, you know, more resistance, if you're kind of worried about sub ohm builds, just keep wrapping it more and more or don't do a dual coil. <laughs> so those are some options too. Um, you could definitely use, uh, you know, maybe a 30 gauge wire, I guess, if you really wanted to, I noticed some of the, uh, the, the pre-made ones, I think they use 30 gauge wire. So it's a little easier to work with, but um, I don't know, 28 gauge is really, really easy to work with. I mean, if you prick yourself, it goes in just like a needle. So it's pretty tiny stuff. So anyway, um, that's what I would do. I would just hook it up. Um, and again, make sure your dual coils are the exact same amount of wraps. They don't have to look the same. They just have to have the same amount of turns in them. And so you would pulse them and you pu keep pushing it together and getting it closer until the heat on both sides will start from the middle and work its way out. And I'll show you what that looks like right now. Got the Nemesis here. And again, uh, you know, I would pull this apart, but I'm actually digging this build. And uh, like I told you about the little issues I had with that screw there, I'd rather not have to mess with that right now. Let's see if we can get this to focus. Oh, sorry about that, folks. Stabilize the camera here. All right, and we'll just fire this up here. Ooh. So that's what you want. You want it to start from the middle and pulse out. You want them to fire up at the same time. And, you know, when you first throw your coils on there, if you don't have a torch to squeeze them close together, they will not look even when they first fire up. They'll burn kind of weird. But don't worry about that. Just get them to pulse and then squeeze them together and they will start to do this evenly. So that's all, folks. There's your micro coil build. So, uh, yeah, we'll get back up in my face and finish this thing out. And that was our up close and personal shot with the Enigma RDA. So yeah, I uh, I think if you like brass and you're you're not worried about the potential for lead, uh, I would say pick it up. I I think it hits really nice. I think it looks really cool. You know, it's a it's a good addition to my collection of you know RDAs, and I'm happy with it. Uh, it is my first brass RDA, uh, and again in the future I probably would avoid getting brass unless it was like a mod or uh, well, I've seen ones where they just have like a brass sleeve you know that's probably the better way to go in the long run especially you know stuff that's coming in contact with your juice uh, again not everybody's opposed to that um, you know I used to work in a metal shop and so I understand uh, you know not wanting to be uh, uh, you know uh, introduced to these bad metals and not wanting these things in your system so I can see a reason for not wanting to go this route. <clears throat> but if that's not something you're concerned about or you already have been vaping on brass and, you know, oh, oh well, uh, I guarantee it's probably not going to be worse than a cigarette. So, um, but yeah, that is the Enigma RDA. Um, we'll fire it up one last time here.
Ooh. Yeah, I mean, it vapes great, people. Well, thank you all for watching. Um, I just want to let you all know I've got a bunch of, you know, e-juice giveaways and contests going on. Um, today I'm going to be giving away a 30 ml bottle of Notorious Liquids e-juice. So if you haven't yet, make sure to go and enter for that contest. All you have to do is post below the Notorious Liquids e-juice giveaway, which is on my Facebook. Just You don't have to post anything special. Just say, yeah, enter me in the contest or, or something like that. Um, you know, don't post more than once because it doesn't double your odds. Um, I'm also going to be doing a uh, e-juice giveaway for uh, Terrapin Vapors. That's going to be two 15 mil bottles, and that's going to be next Sunday. And on May Saturday, May 24th, I'm giving you away a complete uh, Nemesis uh, setup that comes with the Typhon GT batteries e-juice. And I'm also going to be giving away a Hades 26650 mod with two batteries and a K-Fun Light clone. Uh, so that is two winners on May 24th. So you have to be a subscriber to enter, and you have to go to my Facebook page and post that you want to enter. Um, and for, for entering into that contest, uh, it's basically at the top of my Facebook page, and it says, 100 subscriber giveaway. Well, we're well past that now, but I wanted to give everyone enough time to get entered because, you know, to me, this is a pretty big prize, and I wanted to give plenty of time for people who are interested in my channel and interested in maybe upgrading or, or getting into mechanical mods and, and rebuilds. Would have the option to do so so i didn't want to rush it uh, and honestly i didn't think we'd be growing this fast so i'm pretty excited with how things are going uh, special thanks uh to my buddy uh, mark harrison you can follow him on twitter it's uh a z z a vapor so Aza vapor uh, on twitter make sure to follow him real cool dude very very knowledgeable uh when it comes to the vaping world um and he donated that hades mod for you guys in the giveaway his his one, uh, his one rule was that I hit 250 subscribers by May 24th. Well, we did that, and we're giving it away. So, killer news. Um, and then I also have a giveaway, uh, and I'm not exactly sure the details yet or when it's happening, but Carpe Diem, Va Carpe Diem Vapors is partnering up with me to give away a 120 ml bottle of e-juice for one of you lucky people. So when I have all the uh, information and, and details for that, I'll definitely post it. I'll throw it in the next video or something. Um, but in the meantime, uh, if you want, you can go to carpediemvapor.com, uh, type in coupon code AV15, and you will get 15% off your total. So you know, go there and order away, enter in the coupon code, and get 15% off. So really fantastic deal. I want to say thank you to Carpe Diem Vapors for allowing me to do this. Um, yeah, uh, thank you all again for watching. Please uh, like my video, subscribe to my channel, and you're going to be entered in for all the future giveaways. So, again, thank you everyone for watching. I'm the Atheist Vapist. I'm checking out. Peace, YouTube.